Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas. My hair is doing weird things today. I keep playing with it along with my outfit to try to figure out what the heck to wear. But welcome to Vlogmas. Today's December 1st, 2017 and I'm just getting ready for work. It is casual Friday today. I'm gonna be at work for the majority of the day and then I have an orchestra rehearsal in the evening at 7 near where I work so I'm just gonna hang out at a Panera nearby study for the LSAT which I'm taking tomorrow. <sighs> I need another cup of coffee. This is my outfit this morning. I was struggling to find something that would go with these blue mom jeans that I got. These denim mom jeans from American Eagle. I got them on Black Friday and I just paired them with this belt from Target, this like v-neck black tee from, I think it's also from Target, super old. Um, and then this cardigan from Banana Republic, which I wear all the time, and some booties from Primark. And I think this looks cool. It's just like the mom jeans are so like not cool that I need something to like balance it out a little bit. I don't know. I really like them, but I don't know. They're a look, that's for sure. I feel kind of like a lump today because I didn't go to Zumba last night and I always go to Zumba Mondays and Thursdays, but because the LSAT is coming up, I spent time studying instead since Zumba would have fallen like right in between the big chunk of time I had in the evening. I was like, if I start studying, I'm not gonna be able to get, I'm not gonna be able to study too much because now I'm doing time studying. And I was like, I'm only gonna be able to do like a section or two. People are sleeping, I should be quieter. Um, <laughs> And then I would go to Zumba and then come back, take a shower, eat, and then it would be time for bed. And I wouldn't have done a lot of studying, so I stayed home. But it made me feel kind of like a lump today. So I want to get moving and grooving, but I have no time because I need to study. For food today, we got a strawberry banana and spinach smoothie with almond milk. Some salted almonds, an orange, an apple, and some taco salad. This has a rice quinoa mix with uh, corn, black beans, mushrooms, onion, tofu, and some salsa that I made. So yeah, that's like leftovers that I'm just mixing with the salad. There's some carrots in there because this was like a garden salad that my mom made. And I think there's about like one more serving of it so I get to eat it again. I had it yesterday with some hot sauce at work and it was so good. I made it to work. Time to go work. I'll see you guys later. This is something that I've been doing recently and it'll help any of you guys who are also full-time employees but studying for the LSAT. So if you're able, um, if it's like an option for you. Basically what I'm trying to say is I eat and work at the same time. So like I eat through or work through my lunch and then I have to take a half hour lunch for my temp agency for the job that I'm currently working so basically what I'll do is I'll set up my desk eat work and then I'll step out from work come sit in my car for you know one section of the LSAT time it 35 minutes then go back inside so that's what I do to take my half hour break and then instead of taking like a longer afternoon break usually I take like 15 minutes I'll take something a little bit shorter to make up for the fact that I took like a 40 minute lunch instead of a 30 minute lunch my company doesn't like clock you in and out like that but I try to you know stay a little you know keep my moralities in check that I'm not just spending all day studying in the car but yeah rain or shine I come out here sometimes during lunch I need to run errands like I drop off my depop orders at a nearby USPS that's like right around the corner. So yeah, check out my Depop shop, links below. I'm gonna stop talking to this camera because people are coming out to do like walks. People go walking and stuff, um, which is really nice. I like my work mentality. They like encourage you to take a break and do something a little bit active. So this is my active mind break. Hey guys, so I'm done with work for the week. Woohoo, happy Friday. But now I'm gonna go kick it in Panera, do some studying for the LSAT. Um, I have orchestra tonight at seven. It's like, like not even 10 minutes away from this Panera. And it's currently like 4.45. So I'm gonna go in there, get something to eat, do some studying for probably about two hours and then head over, a little less than two hours, and then head over to uh, orchestra. I have orchestra tonight from seven to nine. My concert is tomorrow night and the LSAT is tomorrow morning. So I have a very busy, busy week. Weekend, Saturday. I guess. Sunday, I think we're gonna get the Christmas tree, so get pumped for that! Sorry that this Vlogmas isn't really like Christmas type 
based. Usually I'm like, woohoo, Christmas. But today and tomorrow are quite busy between my orchestra rehearsal tonight, which we don't normally have on Fridays, and our concert tomorrow along with the LSAT tomorrow morning. So tomorrow, the way my day is gonna look, I'm basically gonna wake up, go to the LSAT, get home probably around two, take a nap, shower, eat, get ready, have my orchestra concert, my call's at 6.15. So that gives me like about four hours in between, not honestly less of that because I have to leave before 6.15. So maybe I don't have time for a nap. I don't know, I'll figure it out. And then, um, yeah, then the concert's tomorrow night. I'll probably ask my mom to try to get some footage, but I hate that I'm making excuses for how short Vlogmas is already, but you know what? It's my life, and that's what I'm filming. Okay, let's go to Panera and get some studying done. Okay, so I didn't vlog in Panera, literally at all, because I just sat down and studied. I got the veggie Mediterranean <laughs> uh, sandwich. It's vegan if you get it without cheese and you order it on one of their vegan breads because it comes on the tomato basil, which is not vegan, but <laughs> but the baguette is vegan. So I like to get it on a baguette. Today I was feeling a little carby, so usually I get half a veggie Mediterranean with um, a half salad because the dressing that comes with that is vegan and then sometimes I'll add avocado to it because it'll charge you the same for adding avocado if you add chicken and in a lot of the other salads you can swap chicken for avocado free of charge, which is cool. So I'll do like half garden salad plus avocado, half veggie Mediterranean sandwich, no cheese on a baguette, <laughs> but it's like a lot to order. And tonight I was like, so I got, um, a full veggie Mediterranean and then I thought a baguette as a side would be a little bit of an overkill so I went for an apple instead. I'm just trying to find some tunes to put on. I'm driving to orchestra now. I did two sections of LSAT prep and I scored pretty well. The way I've been scoring recently, it looks like I could get my score up 10 full points, which is like honestly a really big deal in the LSAT. I would settle for five more points. I really am not satisfied with the first score that I got. I'm not trying to get into like the top 14 schools. I'm not trying to get into Harvard Law School, Miss L175, but the higher your score is, it doesn't even have to do with getting into better like T2 or T3, which is like the second and third tier schools. It has to do with like getting into those schools, which I could with my current score, but getting better scholarships. Cause I have a really good GPA and a lot of them have like matrixes for like their scholarships. So if I get my LSAT score up, along with my GPA, I could get a free ride at some of these schools that I'm looking at. There's not that big of a difference between schools that are in the middle tiers because it's not like you're choosing between like an okay school and Harvard. So they basically recommend that you go wherever you can get the most scholarship because like those schools aren't gonna give you any more opportunity than another school. They're all gonna teach you the same whatever. Their bar pass rates are based on the students, not on the education. So you, if there's a high bar pass rate, it just means that like there are students there who are very capable of passing the bar, not that the education prepares you for passing the bar. It's like a misconception that I've learned by listening to a podcast. Yeah, but if I can get my score up, that would put me in a different bracket for scholarships at a lot of these schools and that would make financing law school a lot easier. I've been working a full-time, it's like a temp job since June, so I've been saving up my money, so I have like money to live off of while I'm in law school since I won't have time to work. I'll just be completely in school. I don't know guys, I'm really, really hoping that tomorrow I keep my mind focused and I have the stamina, because that's my thing. Like I just noticed now in the second section that I did, I got every single one of the questions right for the first maybe like eight, nine, but then I kept making dumb mistakes in the rest of it and I scored really well in the first section I did. I just have to like keep my mind and I felt, I felt myself wandering, being like, oh blah blah blah, can't I just be done yet? 
and I'm hoping that doesn't happen tomorrow because I worked for a full eight hours today and yeah, so hopefully I don't lose my stamina into the second section. Last time I took it, I was really, really frazzled because you need a piece of paper from the website that you have to print out to be able to take the test and I forgot it at home and the university where I took the test was like 45 minutes away from my house and I got there with like an hour to spare but that's not enough time to drive 45 minutes there and then back before the test starts. So I called my dad and he rushed there and he got there like four minutes before the test started. He met me, thank God we were both familiar with this university. He met me at a central point and I ran from where I met my dad to the building that was taking the exam. While I was waiting for him, I tried to go into any building on this freaking campus to find a printer to print out this stupid piece of paper, and I couldn't, and I was so frazzled, and I know I didn't do well, <sighs> and I choked on the logic games, which are like my favorite. I can do the logic games perfectly. And that's like not a two two by own horn because I suck at reading comprehension, because um, I kind of space out a little bit. The logic games really fit with my brain. And if I have the right mindset, I can do all of them, easy. Get every single one right. And I was all over the place, like skipping around, not focused, not making good like sketches for them. I don't know. <sighs> so hopefully tomorrow will go better than the last time I took the LSAT. I might just go home after orchestra. It ends at nine and it's about a half hour away from my house. So by the time I get out of the parking garage and get home, it's usually about 9.45. So maybe I'll just take a shower and go to bed early. The test begins at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Just dropped my phone. The test begins at 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I'll be up bright and early. And I'm sorry again that this vlog was just me in the car, but um, car chats are like important, right? I don't know, I've been sitting here and talking to the camera now for seven minutes, so I'm gonna get a move on to um, orchestra, but can we just take a second for how good The Perfect by Ed Sheeran and Beyonce is? I freaking love it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about me and law school, please let me know. I'm, I'm an organized mess, I feel like. Like I have an idea of exactly what I need to do and what I want to accomplish. But I'm kind of all over the place at the same time. Okay, if I don't check in with you guys tonight, it's because I came back from orchestra and I was tired and I went straight to bed. So if I don't see you, thank you for watching the first day of Vlogmas. Hope you guys had a great December 1st. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's my 22nd birthday, woohoo, I'm feeling 22. That's weird. I don't know, I still feel like I'm like 17, but I'm 22 today. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just ate a cupcake and I'm gonna have another one before I leave for work.